so you can't count on egg spots for sexing uh, Lake Malawi cichlids. Oh, I, I, I'm being directed here. So. <laughs> now, this is a typical adult female. She's very typical of the species. And I'm going to gently release them. Let them swim out. Okay, this morning we're working a species from Lake Malawi, maternal mouth breeder, Sanachromus friary, also called electric blue peacock. Uh, we actually have a, another batch that we call electric blue peacock. What? I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I'm being directed here. So. <laughs> Uh, she's been kind of grumpy this morning, so that I'm putting my life at risk here. Uh, at any rate, we also have a, an aquarium strain we call electric blue peacock. Uh, it's probably the, the same fish, but we didn't get them with a scientific name. So we're not mixing them with these. We keep the two lines separate. Uh, we had a small breeding colony. We only got about a hundred uh, juveniles out. Uh, we had 14 breeder females, three males, and I purged two of the males because they were injured uh, and added two young males. And I'll show you those in a minute. And I've added 33 what I hope are females. They came out of our uh, BRUs, Breeders Unsexed, uh, bat from last time, got big enough. I think I, I selected 33 females. Hope so. That gets that breeding colony close to, uh, to full. Uh, per, uh, full size. Maybe we can get production back up to three or four hundred fish. Okay, let's put these. Of course, let's show a female. This is a typical adult female, a dark brown uh, fish with some barring. Uh, she's a good breeder. A little bit, you see a kind of a yellowish stripe on her dorsal, and she has some egg spots. A little bit of blue sheen in the body, but basically she's dark brown fish. This is, well, if I can catch him here, this is breeder male, the one I did not purge. He's very typical of the species. Pointed fins, a kind of light uh, blue stripe on top of the door, so a little bit of light blue in the uh, caudal, uh, and then a little bit of yellow in the uh, the anal fin, you see, he doesn't have any egg spots. So you can't count on egg spots for sexing uh, Lake Malawi cichlids. Okay, now I'm going to show you two young males that I decided to add to the breeding colony. Is he nice? Yeah, he's really nice. And you see, he does have a couple egg spots. Just a little bit younger male, just starting color up good. Uh, but I, I always want to have at least two males in a breeding colony in case we lose one. We don't lose the breeding cycle. But I like to have three. And since we added a bunch of females, what I hope are females, these three will, won't have too much. Uh, they'll, they'll have plenty of females to deal with. Uh, that big male will probably do all the breeding, but the little males might get to do a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put them in there 300, which happens to be right here, so Susie can, can film that. It's just filling now. Uh, and I'm going to gently release them, let them swim out. The females are, uh, the other females are all in there now already. Okay, well, we hope we get this breeding colony up to full strength, and we uh, by three or four foot months from now when we uh, process them again, process them again, we might get three or four hundred, maybe even five hundred fried. Good fish keeping.